everyone, welcome back. This is the Bet Knitter. This week we're going into another app review. This week we are, the name of the app is called Yarn Buddy, which is kind of a nice name. I like it. Um, again, I will always put a little video of me using the app at the end if you want to see it before you download it. And of course, I've been using this on an Apple phone in case that makes a difference to anyone watching out there. Now, it is free to download and it was pretty cool apt to use. They do have a couple of different pages um, that you can use. The first page is really uh, pr called Projects, which is, as one can guess, where you kind of you can kind of create your projects, put all the information, as rooms for like needles, the yarn, how much yarn, like all the details that you would want to keep a record of all for all your pattern, patterns for prosperities or just like a, as a reference guide, which is pretty cool. I should probably keep better track of my patterns in an app like this, but I don't. Yes. The next one is called the stash page, uh, which is basically where you can log all the yarn that you have, which is cool, but I don't know if I would use it just because of the fact that like, I'm sure a lot of other people have a lot of yarn. And I don't know if I want to go through all of my yarn to really kind of tag it and organize it like that. Um, that is just not me. It's a little bit too tedious. Some people might like that, but that is not me. But I, I do like the fact that it does give you that option in case you are someone that wants to kind of organize your yarn like that, which is pretty cool. The last page is called the tools page, which is actually has a couple different features to it. One has a quick counter. So it's just basically a simple counter. You can go, you know, plus minus. Um, the only downside is that you can't do multiple counters at once. It is just a single counter. So you can't really do have, if you have to do a re five repeats of 10 lines, you can't keep track of both at the same time. You can only go up and down for that one counter. So it's good quick little counter, but you can only do one. Depending on what you do, that might make a difference to you, may not. Just throwing that out there. But it also does stuff like yarn substitution where you can put in two different types of yarn. So that way you can see if you can make a good substitution, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it has also a abbreviation guide, which is awesome. So it's a, just a giant list of all the abbreviations that you might come across and what they are. So that way, it's a quick guide um, to handy dandy in your pocket, which I haven't really seen in a lot of other apps, which is can be very useful, especially if you're on the go, you always have a reference guide in your pocket and on you so that way you have it. So I would definitely check it out. They do have a... They don't have any ads. Like I said, it is free to download, but there is uh, they do have a premium version. Uh, which is uh, 14, 15 bucks a month or like 40 bucks as a one-time purchase. Um, I was looking around at it and it was quite interesting. You can do a lot more like annotation and they give you much more, much more options for other projects and recording and annotation. If you do a lot of projects where you need to keep records, it might be interested. I would definitely take a look at it um, if you need kind of a record of your patterns uh, and especially if you do bigger patterns it might be useful to have a place especially electronically to have a record of all that type of stuff I'm gonna look into it for myself for personal means but usually when I use a pattern um, I don't need to use a lot of stuff that's the offering which is not necessarily a bad thing but it's not just something personally I would use but I would definitely check this out like I said it's a free app knit buddy uh, Check it out. It's a very cool nifty app.